What's up, MFFLs? The trade deadline is almost here, which means more coverage for you guys. Perfect time to subscribe to the channel. We are 46 subs away from 21,000 here on Mavericks Today. Help us get there. Can we get there by midnight? That is my goal. So subscribe right now, and we'll jump into today's show. I am Harrison Graham, and on today's show, we got some news and rumors to get into. Let's get to the news first, as the Mavericks have made a signing. They are signing forward Chris Silva to a 10-day contract, according to Hoops Hype, uh, who had this first. And uh, shout out to uh, Michael Scotto, who broke the news. But Chris Silva uh, is the newest member of the Dallas Mavericks. 10-day contract has spent some time. Uh, with the Miami Heat, and uh, now he comes over to the Dallas Mavericks. Look, I don't have a ton of thoughts uh, on Chris Silva. We have some background information uh, on him. I remember he was a part of that South Carolina Final Four team several years ago uh, back in college. Uh, spent some time with the Miami Heat uh, from 2019 to 2022, some 10-day contracts back in 2022, and now he joins the Dallas Mavericks. Mavericks probably looking for a little more front court depth as uh, Christian Wood uh, has been out as of late. He also has uh, bounced around the G League as well. Um, in college, good player, 11 points, six and a half boards, uh, just over 21 minutes per game. Uh, lots of experience there at South Carolina, but kind of a fringe NBA guy uh, who could ultimately end up overseas at some point in time. But JaVale McGee stinks, so you might as well try some other uh, guys in that front court. Max Kleba's hurt. Christian Wood's been banged up, so uh, need to have somebody that can eat some minutes. And uh, Chris Silva for the next few games could be someone that potentially does just that. So we'll see what he ends up doing for this team, if anything at all. Grade the signing for us, A, B, C, D, or F. How do you feel about Chris Silva joining the Dallas Mavericks at this point in time? I'll give it a C, as in uh, who cares, but uh, we will see how it goes. Hey, I'm optimistic. You never know what could happen. All right, let's talk about someone who's for sure doing stuff. That is Luka Doncic, who has done it again, his fourth 50-point game of the year. Had 53 points uh, in the Mavericks win over the Pistons on Monday night. The guy's been unbelievable. And by the way, he did this on an ankle sprain, missed the past couple of games. You look at his season so far, uh, these four 50-point games, did it against the Rockets a couple days before Christmas, a couple days after uh, Christmas. He had that historic game against the Knicks where he had, what, 60, 20, and 10 or whatever it was, just an unreal performance. 51 on New Year's Eve, and then about a month later he drops 53 against Detroit, and the funny part about all this is all these games are coming down to the wire. It just goes to show that without Luka Doncic being heroic, this team just isn't very good, which is why we've been talking a lot about a lot of trade possibilities uh, at uh, over the last several days, uh, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, my man is just gassed, absolutely gassed uh, at this uh, point in the season, so uh, we will see. Uh, where he goes from here, but get the man some help, Cubes. Come on, Cuban, get Mark or get Luka Doncic some help. The Mavs can never have a game where everyone is in sync. That's something that's true. Tim Hardaway Jr. He's been cold recently. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie drops back-to-back 35-point games. He goes five for 16 last night. Like it'd be nice if all these guys would play well on the same night because if they don't, they got no chance to get good teams. I mean, they almost lost to Detroit at home last night. And Luka dropped 53 points. That's just not going to get it done. Uh, sometimes it's Finney Smith having a good night. The next night it's Dinwiddie. But you never have these guys all playing well. Uh, it's very, very frustrating. If they all start to contribute more consistently, this team could be better. Now, I'm not sure they could be as good as last year because you don't have Jalen Brunson, who would be the second best player on this team. But uh, I'll say this too. They definitely miss Christian Wood, who's missed the last couple of weeks uh, with a fractured thumb. So, We'll see where the Mavs go from here again. Uh, trade deadline coming up, uh, which is why you should subscribe. When the Mavs make a move, we hope they do. We will have you covered here on Mavericks Today, so hit that subscribe button and uh, stay in the know with your Dallas Mavericks. Shout out to our sponsor. It is Rocket Money. Uh, if you're wasting money, don't do it anymore. Download the Rocket Money app, rocketmoney.com slash NBA now, as they're going to help you keep track of your expenses, set a budget, uh, and get you on the right track. Are you wasting money on subscribers? 
80% of people have subscriptions that they have forgotten about. Maybe for you, it's an unused Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account that never gets streamed. There's this great app that I use to keep track of all of my expenses, and because of it, I no longer waste money on subscriptions that I don't even use. You might have heard of it. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. This app shows you all of your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you. Whatever you don't still want, Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know that you were paying for. You may even find you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money will take care of the rest. So download the app today. It's rocketmoney.com slash NBA now. You see your subscriptions listed. Decide which ones you want to pay for, which ones you don't, and then cancel the ones you don't no longer want to use. Rocketmoney.com slash NBA now. Link is in the comments and in the description. Do have a trade rumor to hit on today's show before we get out of here. Pascal Siakam, could he be a potential target? There's been some buzz that Toronto could make some big moves. OG Ananobi has been a player linked to trade buzz. Here's Kurt Helen of Yahoo Sports saying Pascal Siakam could be that second star next to Luka Doncic, a 6'8 wing who can finish at the rim, shoot threes, and would be a great secondary shot creator. It's a good fit. Siakam is not an elite defender. Dallas would want some 3 and D guys added to their roster, but he would be the kind of addition that Dallas needs. Dallas can offer three. It's three first-round picks starting in 2024, uh, but it's some combination of those picks and Spencer Dinwiddie. Tim Hardaway Jr., Christian Wood, and Dorian Finney-Smith can entice the Raptors. They will look for a massive package for Siakam and likely see better offers than Dallas can construct. It might not be easy to pull off and likely will wait until the offseason at the earliest, but the Mavericks are serious about a second star. Um, listen, if Toronto's a team that starts to sell, they certainly have pieces I like. Uh, Anadobi, Fred Van Vliet, Siakam would be the big one. Uh, again, like Helen says, I don't know if you have enough uh, you know, bullets in the chamber to get a guy like Siakam. And if you do, what are you going to have left next to Luka and Siakam? I mean, uh, that's a great one to punch. But if your next best player is like Josh Green, I don't know if that's going to get it done. Uh, but Siakam's damn good. I mean, 25-point scorer this year, uh, averaging over eight rebounds per game, 6.4 assists. He's improved a ton as a creator. He was uh, a Robin to Kawhi Leonard when they won a championship a few years ago. So uh, he's proven to be a championship type of piece in the past. He's just not a number one. Well, you've got your number one. You've got your Superman and Luka. You just need your Robin. And uh, Siakam could certainly play that role. You would just need to have enough leftover role players if you were to go out and get him. Now, I would certainly heavily consider it. I would trade... Probably pretty much anyone except for Dinwiddie on this roster because you need another ball handler. Uh, so you would have to keep him or get someone in the trade that can handle the rock. Uh, but uh, I would probably trade Christian Wood, uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., um, and maybe even Dorian Finney-Smith plus a couple first to go get him. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what Toronto does. We'll see how aggressive Dallas gets. But you want to keep Luka long-term? You want to start winning at a higher level and keeping him happy? Uh, this roster has to improve. Uh, and get better than it currently is. Would you trade for Pascal Siakam? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Certainly would like to see it happen. We'll have to wait and see what happens before the deadline. That's going to do it for Dallas Mavericks today. Stay in the know by subscribing and turning on your notifications. I'm Harrison Graham signing off. We'll see you very soon.